Your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. Two Mondays in a row, we had a beautiful start to the week. Lots of sunshine for us, warm temps, a beautiful little sunset for you too. And as we continue through this week, those warmer temperatures are sticking around. 59 degrees right now, nine mile an hour winds coming in out of the northwest. It's a pretty decent evening for you to get going here this week. And we're going to continue to see that warmth stick around as we head into the next couple of days as well. Looking across the most of central and eastern Kentucky, everybody in those mid, even upper 50s. And you can expect to see a lot more of that down the line. It's a clear sky out there for you. We're going to keep it clear most of tonight and into parts of tomorrow. But we've got a few things that we need to discuss as we get into midweek here. First off, high pressure is what's kept things quiet. But we got to look off to the west to see the mess that's going on in the southern Rockies. There's a lot of different opportunities here, a lot of energy starting to develop. We are going to see a couple of lows shoot out of there that are going to bring us some weather starting as early as tomorrow. A weather maker of wind coming our way. The wind advisory goes into effect for us tomorrow evening. Valentine's Day at 7 p.m. going through 7 a.m. on Wednesday and it's mainly for our north and western counties here across uh, central and eastern Kentucky and that's going to be for wind gusts that are going to max out at 50 miles an hour. Now let's take a look at how winds progress into tomorrow morning. These are wind gusts at 5 to 15 miles an hour to start your Tuesday. They become more and more breezy as the day goes on. Well, that low pressure system starts to work towards us. Southerly winds come in anywhere from 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts by 7 and it's overnight, mainly in the evening hours from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. that we're going to see a shot at a couple of those 50 plus mile an hour wind gusts. Waking up on Wednesday, we're still going to be pretty breezy at 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts and that's going to survive through most of the day. So breezy conditions continue on for us as we get into uh, midweek. Now we are going to see some cloud cover return. This is Futurecast showing you that by 7 a.m. We're going to see a couple of spotty showers. Can't rule out the chance for a few of those as we head into uh, mid day and into the early afternoon. Very light for you on your Valentine's afternoon. It's mainly after dark again that we're going to see some heavier rain showers and possibly even a couple of thunderstorms in the mix to wrap out your Valentine's Day. And then we need to look ahead further Wednesday night into Thursday for some more fun. Wednesday morning though opening up to a little bit of sunshine to get things going for us after that. We have a level uh, one marginal risk for Wednesday in far western Kentucky for severe weather and thunderstorms are going to be possible as the second half of this wave comes in for us. The uh, higher level energy is going to be further to the south. But if we look at Thursday, this is the day we really need to watch. We're already highlighting a slight risk for severe weather Thursday. Right now, it's right through the heart of Kentucky, and that's going to include half at least of our viewing area here going into Thursday. And that's something that we're going to be tracking here as we get into it. Watch now. This is Wednesday's future cast going into Thursday. These are Round one, real early on Thursday morning, possibly before you even wake up, could see a couple of stronger thunderstorms in that mix. But then it's round two that we have to watch. Are we going to be able to build enough instability for this afternoon round to be able to bring us some severe weather? That's the main factor that we're uh, least confident about at this time, but it is something that is already highlighted, so we're going to need to keep a close eye on it. Tonight down to 35, chilly and clear, lighter winds, but they pick up real quick for your Valentine's Day. 65, windy and warm with some rain chances as we get into the later parts of the day. And again, those wind gusts really ramp up in the late evening. That seven-day forecast doesn't look bad for us either. 72 for a high on Wednesday, 64 then with those storms Thursday, a quick drop to 30s on Friday before we slowly recover into a pretty nice weekend.